Today in Alabama cooking, we're making red beans and rice, y'all. This is soul food meets comfort food, and everything just, oh, all is gonna be right in the world in the next couple hours. <laughs> Come on in the kitchen, y'all. Let's cook. Okay, fam, so the first thing you wanna do is get you some red beans. This is a bag of red beans. They come usually in one pound bag. You're gonna separate out the bad beans from the good beans. And this is an example of some bad beans, right? So you've got ones that are a little discolored like this or shriveled or, see that? You wanna pull these bad beans out, okay? Set them and you don't even set them aside. I saved them to show you, but you're gonna set those aside and discard those. And you want to cover your beans in cold water and let them soak. I think overnight is best. And by soaking overnight, the beans are gonna cook quicker when we go to make the dish. But also what's gonna happen is a lot of the gas factor from the beans will be eliminated. So trust me, soaking the beans is a good move. All right, so these beans have been soaked overnight and rinsed and you see they are ready to go. Beautiful beans. All right, so I'm gonna start off in my skillet with some andouille sausage. I've got a pound of andouille sausage. The skillet is ready for it. Boom. We are going to start building our flavors. I'm gonna turn the fan on. The sausage has got plenty of fat in it that it's gonna render, but just for good luck and good measure, I'm gonna add a smidge of olive oil just to help it along. So nothing sticks. And we're not trying to overcook this sausage. We just kind of want to give it a chance. I always hate to just get it going, you know what I mean? Because it's already done, but you gotta heat it up a little bit. Now I'm stepping back. I probably should have put an apron on y'all. I like this shirt. <laughs> it's new. <laughs> oh my goodness, see how I'm just letting this sausage get going in the bottom of my Dutch oven here? Exactly what I want. See, not a whole lot to it, just letting it get going, releasing some of the fat, because we're gonna put this in our dish towards the end, okay? So I'm gonna put these back in this bowl because they were already cooked, so this is not a raw meat bowl. Okay, like so. Oh yeah, the edges are starting to curl just a little on it. That's when sausage is like, okay. You know when the edges start curling. <laughs> I didn't go over the ingredients on this first, guys, because there's just a handful of things and we'll just talk about it as we go along. All right, so we're getting this sausage out to set aside. We'll add this towards the end of the cooking process. And we're going to add our Holy Trinity. <laughs> celery, bell pepper, and onions, okay? Some cooks, I've seen people actually use poblano peppers when they do red beans and rice, you know? But that's that fancy stuff, and there's actually nothing wrong with it, and it probably tastes good. But you know, some things, I think you just need to kind of stick with, um, stick with how the Lord made it, amen? <laughs> okay, here is our trinity. This is our celery, bell pepper, and onion. Mm. ooh, that smells good. I smell the sausage mixed with the trinity. Oh, and I spilled the oil. Woo, that's the Holy Ghost. You know the oil is the Holy Ghost, the anointing. Woo, the eggs All right, we're gonna cook this here. Just get these vegetables softened. I'm gonna start to add some seasonings. Now I'm gonna just use a Creole seasoning spice. Usually, you know, I like to make up my own spice, but I want you to see that this is one where you really just Get a spice that you have, or if you want to make your own Creole or Cajun seasoning, you really need a combination of just paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, thyme, and cayenne. Salt, pepper. And you're good to go. 
Just thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's just keep coming together. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this in there. And I'm doing, starting with about a tablespoon. We will put more in as we go along, but we want to build the flavor so that every layer of the dish is flavorful. And we don't need to cook these to they're mushy, we just want them to start to get soft, because they're gonna sit in the water and broth for a long time. I'm gonna add some chopped garlic in here. I add the chopped garlic a little bit later in the process because I don't want it to burn. I want it to, to cook and just be a flavorful complement to what we got going on. <laughs> All right. Mm. Y'all, it's smelling good up in here already. I, even though I have the sauce, the seasoning in the jar, I also still just have a little extra chili powder because I know how I like my food to taste. Okay? <laughs> I do. I know what I want it to taste like in a little extra time. And I'm going to add my first layer of cayenne here. And this might be all the cayenne that I use because again, the sausage is andouille. So we've got a lot of flavor going in here. This is only about a teaspoon of cayenne. If you want this to be super spicy, add as much as you want. I'm not gonna talk about you. I'm gonna be like, go ahead boo, do you. That's just the truth. All right, so now that we've got this nice and it's softened, it's not mushy, but it's softened, we're going to add in eight cups or two quarts of water and we're gonna turn this into chicken broth, okay? So I'm going to start by just pouring it in like so. Okay. Oh, this is getting good. I love to use better than bouillon. So for this, I'm gonna use a big hunk of it. This is basically just a concentrated chicken broth flavor, okay? And if you have bouillon cubes, you can use those. Anything is fine or just regular old chicken broth. However you wanna do it is fine. I just love using this because I like the way the flavor comes together. All right, I'm gonna give this a stir. And that bouillon cube, or, or my better than bouillon, <laughs> it will dissolve in here as this water comes to a boil. Okay, now comes the part that makes this uh, the soul food component of the program. <laughs> We're gonna add ham hocks to this. Yes, good old ham hocks. So I have a couple of ham hocks. You buy them from the store, okay? They are already smoked and you're gonna put them in. And this is gonna give your seasoning or your broth or your liquid and your beans so much flavor, you not gonna know what hit, what happened, what hit you. You're gonna be like, oh dear Jesus, take me Lord, it's so good. And I'm gonna be like, yep, I know. All right, and that's in there. Now we're gonna go and add in these red beans that we have soaked overnight. Last thing we're gonna to add to this, some bay leaves. And we'll take those out, obviously, before we eat it, okay? And we're just gonna let this start to cook. So what we're gonna do is turn, get this to a simmer. We can cover the pot and let it go for, we'll start with 45 minutes or an hour, we'll check back and see how it's doing. But this is going to be everything and then some. And you know what, if that ham hock meat fall off the bone a little bit, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. It's okay, don't worry, it's, it's good. All right guys, let's let this simmer away. And we will see how it goes. We'll see you in a few minutes. I'll see you in a few seconds, 45 minutes from here. Our beans have been going for about an hour. We're gonna add the sausage in now. You could have added it at the beginning, but I waited. I'm building something, people. Oh, these are looking good. All right, let's let it keep going. Well, family, these red beans have cooked for a total of about three hours. I left the lid on and simmered them for a long time and added in the sausage. And then I took the lid off so that it could come to a slight boil and evaporate. And do you see the beautifulness of this? I mean, it's thickened up like, oh my God, this is just perfect. It's perfect. So I have here, bowl of rice, red beans and rice, okay? Some people like to make it fancy and put a little piece of rice on top. I'm going old school, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna scoop right up. I got the ham hock still in here too. I'll take it out in a minute. But I'm gonna serve up some of this. Ooh, I cannot wait to get into this. Look at that. Are you, are you seeing this, family? Are you seeing this, y'all? Oh, okay, let's get a taste here. Oh, I gotta stop it up a sausage first. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 
，好，五个，要。These beans, oh my God. These beans are so soft and creamy. And the consistency of the whole, it's a, everything about this is right. It's got just enough kick. I didn't add more kick either. Remember I put that teaspoon of cayenne in early on? I did it early on so it would cook throughout the dish and it has perfectly blended in with the flavors. So this is not a spicy mess. All this needs now, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. there's some cornbread. All right, family, that's what I'm talking about. I hope y'all see, I'm gonna take the ham hocks out. Mm. I'm gonna take the bay leaves out. Oh my God, we're gonna feast. Family, thank you for joining me. I love y'all so much. I will see you next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Lorius. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Happy cooking.